Hey, it's Andrzej on Software. Today I would like to tell you about one technique which I'm sometimes using while working on some code. And I'm thinking about responsibilities of my classes, for example. And this technique is called class, res class responsibility collaboration, or, or as I would call them, uh, CRC cards. Uh, it's a technique which is kind of close to drawing diagram, but it's nothing about UML, it's nothing about any formal stuff. You just take a single note, it can be a post-it note, and you put three things on this note. One thing is obviously the name of the class. Then you list the responsibilities of this class as you see them. If you're working on an existing class, you may list all of the existing responsibilities. If you're working on a new class, just think about the responsibilities that need to be there. And the third thing you do, you list the collaborators of this class. Usually those are other classes' names. Or you may want to think in... Uh, in names to like in units to sorry so uh, I think drawing those cards kind of triggers some uh, other parts of the brain and um, this triggers something also like uh, thinking uh, the, the connection between this class and to other parts of the system whether it's like correct does it feel right uh, or not so um, CRC cards are also um, kind of effective because you may want to work from examples. So if you have requirements, you can try to put requirements in here. And also, instead of thinking about like generic responsibilities, you may think about specific responsibilities of an instance of this class. So if you have a client class, you may actually want to think about Alice. And okay, so Alice was recommended by Bob to our system, right? So responsibility of this class is to like remember that Alice was recommended by Bob. Also, it means that the collaborator here is the recommender client, for example. So let's say we are designing a CRM system, like a customer relationship manager, and we, we have a new lead and like Alice is this new lead. So also, like I just said, maybe it's not a client, maybe it's a lead class. So a lead is recommended by existing client, but maybe a lead is recommended by another lead, not yet client, right? So uh, this means that in the system you may want to capture all those cases. And CRC cards, when you try to go with uh, more like with scenarios, uh, it kind of makes sense. Also, it's a, it's a good um, technique, like in between... Uh, designing and coding because it prepares you the list of respons responsibilities and this is super useful also for TDD. So in one of the last episodes I talked to you about spikes as one of the techniques which prepares you to TDD because then you know what needs to be implemented. CR CRC cards are similar because they prepare you to the responsibilities of the class and then the responsibilities of the, cl of the class basically become the test scenarios for this class. Uh, also, with CRC, you may want to capture not only the classes, but also the state of the class, for example, uh, and like recommended lead or CEO lead. Those are like different polymorphism cases of the lead class. <clears throat> and this may show you that actually you actually have several classes here. And you may, wa <clears throat> you may want to test them separately. Uh, Google for... Um, Class Responsibility Collaboration, or CRC card, and you will find lots of nice examples in, in other places. Thanks for listening.